Our job is to conduct law enforcement and security operations to maintain a safe and secure environment for warfighters, family members, and civilians and support uh, the Make Ready concept and efforts of the Marine Corps Installation Disease Commander. As the Provost Marshal, I am responsible for the oversight of the Provost Marshal's office. I am responsible for the supervision of all planning, coordination, and execution of law enforcement and security operations at one Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune and Marine Corps Station in River. Another misconception that, that people have about SROs is that we're there to punish their kids or to get them in trouble or to lock them up, and that's not actually our job. Our job is to try and keep the kids out of the court system rather than put them into the court system. Basically, we, we put on a lot of hats when we walk into that building. Um, we become SROs, so we're law enforcement officers. We become counselors. We become, you know, a, a father figure. The main responsibilities of a school resource officer and police officer here on this base is to protect personnel um, before property. So we are the representatives of the Provost Marshal's Office of Ben Schools. A common misconception about my job is that we are all out there to write citations. All of my accident investigators, as well as myself, prefer to educate as to why there's laws or, or why something is dangerous and not catch it on the side of the road, uh, even though that's a part of our job. So my job is very fulfilling. Um, you have to be law enforcement, you have to be a teacher, uh, you have to be a subject matter expert, uh, you have to be a traffic nerd. The mission is always the same. It's aggressive traffic enforcement to reduce the amount of traffic collisions. So in a perfect world, the more law enforcement is out there writing citations, the less traffic collisions that you'll have. Uh, generally speaking, we respond to calls in which other Marines are calling us out for. It's not like we're actually trying to get people in trouble. We're going to these calls and you know, there's an issue there and we have to deal with it. Um, it's stressful um, trying to get rest in while maintaining Everything we need to do at Marines, we go into the right range of PME. It can get exhausting, but um, we usually just have a pretty good connection and cohesion amongst the platoons, being able to uh, rely on each other for assistance or just someone to talk to when things are getting hard. We're here so that the sergeant that has a nine year old daughter feels safe with her walking to school in the morning. We're here so that the people on this base know that we're gonna make sure as dog handlers, there's no narcotics on this base and there's no explosives that are gonna be on this base and you're gonna be safe. One of the things I would like other Marines to understand is that I'm not here to make your day bad. I'm here so that you feel safe, you feel protected, and so that we can be a psychological deterrence to anything that wants to come on this base to harm, hurt you, cause any sort of pain to you. I'm here so that when you need somebody to call, we're gonna respond. When you need something, we're gonna be there. We know if there's a situation, we're gonna be there. Especially as canine handlers, I want people to know that we're here and we're working every day for that call. There's a lot more to us than just giving, a, giving tickets or being in a patrol vehicle. We're here to, at the end of the day, make people feel safe from the president down to the PFC that just got into this installation.